this product demo, I'll walk you through our newest report, Reconciliation. This report helps accountants and bookkeepers to understand money movement at Square. We show you how money moved from making a sale to collecting payments to Square transferring those funds to your linked bank account. To get started, let's take a look at where this new report lives. If you go into reports and then click on accounting and reconciliation, you'll see this new report. And to get started, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the right time frame is picked in your date picker. You can do daily, weekly, or monthly reconciliation with this report. And then also make sure that you've selected your reporting day as your time frame. Reporting day should be a 24 hour period that maps to a single accounting day's worth of sales. All right, so we've got our date range. We're looking at the last week and we are filtering by our reporting day as our time frame, and that maps to our calendar day. You'll see in this report that you've got three main sections. There's a sales section on top, a payment section in the middle, and then a bank transfer section at the bottom. Let's go through each one one by one. You'll see here that at the top, we wanna to show you your sales and then your collected liabilities, and those together will sum to your kind of total receipts. Within that sales, if you want additional breakdown, you can click into the expander collapse and see the breakdown of how you go from gross sales, returns, discounts, and comps to get to a net sales figure. Additionally, we know that it helps accountants to understand how much was collected for taxes, tips, or other collected liabilities such as gift card sales. When you add these two numbers together, you're gonna to get your total payments collected. And in the payments section, if you expand each of these areas, you can, you're gonna see that we've added a new concept of a transferable payment amount. So we're gonna look at your total payments collected. Each of these line items refers to a net payment collected amount per payment method type. So what that means here is that these are your card-based sales, and that's both your gross card-based sales minus any card-based refunds, and that's gonna give you that net amount of $20,000 here. And we're really breaking it out so you can see both how much Square is collecting in terms of payments on your behalf, and then also how much other in other payment methods are collected, such as cash. So any kind of non-transferable payment amount you're gonna see at the bottom. And really what we're doing here is we're taking our total payments collected, subtracting any kind of non-transferable payments. This is the money that Square's not handling. And then also showing you any kind of fees or deductions. So here you're gonna see that there could be cash app fees, delivery related fees, Square payment processing fees, um, and so on and so forth. So really taking that total payments collected, subtracting out any kind of non-transferable payment amounts, these are things that Square's keeping primarily for record keeping, and then also subtract any kind of fees and deductions, and that's gonna give you a payments eligible for transfer. Next up, that's really how much Square's gonna transfer to your linked bank account. Here you're gonna see that we are gonna list every transfer that we have sent on your behalf. And so for about a week's worth of sales, you're gonna have about seven or eight days worth of transfers. Um, because we have the weekend, you're, you're gonna see a couple of different transfers that correspond to those weekend dates. And one thing that's really nice is that you can click on each of these transfer links and that's gonna navigate you into your transfers report. And this is gonna give you a lot more detail around the specifics in that transfer. So any kind of transfer summary or even getting down to the transaction level of detail that is available today in your transfers report.